So the Caps are going to the White House next week, nine months after winning the Stanley Cup. You've probably heard by now some of the players aren't happy about it. Some of them actually declined the invitation. Our columnist Mike Wise has something to say about this. The Washington Capitals are going to the White House on Monday to celebrate their Stanley Cup championship from last June. Braden Holtby, the back line of their defense, the stand on his head goalie that kept the dream alive and made it happen, is not joining nearly all of his teammates for the private no cameras gathering with President Trump. Neither is Brett Conley, one of the team's forwards. Holtby is an outspoken advocate of the LGBTQIA community, many of whom feel attacked by the president's policies. Conley is a close friend of Devontae smith Pelly, the only black player on the team last season who is now in Hershey and has said he wouldn't go because of his own issues with the president. You don't have to agree with him politically or otherwise, just as you don't have to agree with Matt Burt, the Baltimore Ravens former senator who boycotted a trip to President Obama's White House in 2012 because, as a pro-life advocate in the Catholic Church, he could not bring himself to meet with a man who was pro-choice. But we do need to understand that the days of stick to sports are over. They have been for a long time. Probably the moment Jimmy Carter first began the tradition of inviting sports champions to the White House in 1980 because the Pittsburgh Steelers and Pirates made him look good in front of the masses. Now, President Trump has gone above and beyond, making sports a part of America's culture wars, using the conviction of kneeling NFL players as a proxy for patriotism, a ploy sadly much of the country bought. In less than two years, no more than five NBA or Super Bowl champion teams have refused to visit or were disinvited because, well, this president is that polarizing. In the end, I never really came up with a situation where I would feel comfortable going, Braden Holtby said. My family and myself, we believe in a world where humans are treated with respect regardless of your stature, what you're born into. So I think that's just where it is in terms of this decision. You're asked to choose which side you're on, and I hope it's pretty clear what side I'm on. Whether you're on his side or not doesn't matter. The fact that he is able to have that kind of conviction in an era where a renaissance of social conscience among athletes is starting to mirror the days of Muhammad Ali and John Carlos and Tommy Smith is important and necessary. I'm Mike Wise.